Good morning, Rabboisai. Lili Nishmasi Mimiro Sirus Bas Mordechai. Today's share is sponsored anonymously in honor of Reb Nisanel and Reb Stress Relief Pill and the whole Gemara Distribution Project. Highlights of unity of Jewish people, brotherly love. Chashivas of the Torah learning of another Jew from a chassid of the Gaiva de Leo who is honored to be part of MDY. Shkoyach, I really appreciate it. If anybody wants to join these guys, which does them a huge favor because they're not doing so well. They only gave out like 600 Gemara so far. And they told me there's going to be over a thousand. So help them out. Join MDY.com. Join MDY.com. That's how you get a free Gemara. If you live in the UK, they send us a thing that there are no Gemaras left because those guys bought out all the Gemaras to send out to people. So you have to join. There's no, no other choice. By Zalman Omlas. How do you spell? How do you pronounce? Omlas? Rabbi Yaakov Omlas. Lezech Nishmas Avi Moiri on his 30th yard site. He was a Talmud Muvuk. And a musmuch of Rav Moshe Feinstein, Zeichetzalik Levracha, and he opened the first Sfarim kosher pizza store in Queens. Yes, he sold both. Wow, that's my kind of store: pizza and Sfarim. Love it. And in honor of my wife's birthday, and for the nice nigla that she experienced this past week, we have no idea what that is. By Cheski Baum, my father's yard site today, Rav Shlomi Yosef. Ben Reb Tzvi, thank you so much. It's so moving for me to receive a Gemara and re-begin learning Gemara after an unfortunate gap of 26 years. May you have all the merit for my learning. Join MDY.com. I'm not going to read this kid's name, although I have it here by mistake. I don't know if he knows. He goes, I'm crying right now. I just watched the Meaningful Podcast of Rebbe, this is a 10th grader. I got so emotional to see the pain in Rebbe's face when he said, I can't remember anything. This specifically made me so emotional because it's Rebbe himself that made me be koina a mesechta. I lived into this in grade 10, chazar every day with the eight minute chash of in my class named Ephraim Stefanski told me that the first four lines of Tosis and Rashi are because you need to chazar at least four times to consider learning. He's talking about the top of the page, there's always four lines, you have to chazar four times. Uh, oh, this guy is, by the way, one of the smartest people on earth. This kid. I have a few rayas. Here's raya number one. You changed the world. I was even more shocked when they didn't believe there is forever. You genuine anava is what attracts the world. Ah! See the kishin of this kid. I'm just a balabas. Being able to say this is so attractive. This is different than any other typical rav. By the way, this is what got me. Wow, he fell for it. Valdi. I'm in yeshiva that promotes their heritage called the Torah. Anyways, the, to make a long story short, this kid learned the Masech Sukkah. That's what we're about to learn, Masech Sukkah. He learned it so well. There was 120 question tests. He got every single one, Balpeh. And here it is. Yeshiva's Darchi Torah. Now I gave away where he's at. Yosef, he got a, a Tuda. And he made me one also. Rebelli, put in here. Rebelli, Givaldic. Is there anything else I have to read here? I don't know. Hey. Okay, Givaldik. Agitin. My name is Shruli Braun. I'm a 28 year old Bacher from Bar Park. 28 year old Bacher from Bar Park. I started the daf, started Brachas, been learning the daf daily since then on my daily subway commute to my job in Manhattan. Uh, da, 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 da. I heard about MDY via the eight minute daf clips. And I read about it in one of the Jewish magazines before Yum started seeing advertisements for free art school. Well, I was afraid to commit to taking a free one since I didn't know if I would stick with MDY. I was so impressed by the offer. That's all I could think of. I need to hear this year that people are willing to literally pay for others to join. And that's why he joined. Because I learned underground in the subway, he couldn't stream the YouTube. Shkoyach. Kitzer, I'm a proud member of MDY Mishpacha. It's a whole long arichos here. 
And if you can explore perhaps opening a WhatsApp group where you upload the full video share. We've been working on this. You hear this, Gary? Gary, he wants to have a full share on WhatsApp. Remember, we got a phone for it. We got a whole thing running and it never happened. Can we do it for sukkah? Gary, can we do it for sukkah? There's no reason why we shouldn't be able to do it. If sponsorship is necessary, he'll do it. The kids are, he listens on an Apple podcast. Thanks for all you do. Atzlacha. Okay. Ishmak. Last night, Morty Tiffenbaum, Braun, Tiffen Braun, came to me and he said, this is the first, Yaakov, he said this is the first time in his life that he went someplace waiting in a waiting room and all he was doing was learning Tyra. Very impressive. It's a Toyota, Toyota, the the annual, whatever you had to do there. And this Rabbi Yisai is in Karnei Shomron, Avi Fold's house last night, doing the shir. Here's the Zoom. Is Zoom on? What's wrong with Zoom? But YouTube is. Okay. And right now, in Lakewood, there's a bunch of guys got together. Moshe Hirsch put this together. Yo, CEO, Moshe Hirsch. Yeah, it's really Gordon, Dr. Listhouse, who else is here? Okay. Oh, oh, Nachum Horowitz. I'm sure I know the other guys. Okay. The boy said today is Daf Pei Dalid. And we are holding a Daf Pei Dalid. Bunch of lines down. And we're talking about a Kelev Shait, a rabid dog. And it says like this. The Nochus lay Mayis Maitakante. Two, four, six, eight lines down. It's because we have very large dapim. Today is a Gadata, and only on Thursday, the final daf, it's short, but there are a lot of words to read, so we got to move through this. So we did a little bit of extra last night. We're eight lines down. If a rabbit dog, see him, we don't have the exact, exact details. However, see him is going to be. Thursday evening at the Kaisal at the Tiv what time? 7.15 Mincha at the Kotel. 7.45 at the There's going to be a bus. It's going to cost 400 shekel a person. For us, I don't know how much it's going to cost. Okay, we'll figure out all the other details to be discussed, but that's the basic plan. Okay. We got a very nice email from a certain individual. Noam, you should take a look at it. He wants to sponsor the CM. He wants to sponsor some of it. So maybe we'll be able to uh, subsidize the cost. Now, if, a, if somebody is bit by this rabid dog and the Gemara says he will die, so what should he do? He should take the skin, the apa, dichra. Apa, according to the art scroll, it's one of these, a polecat. And he takes this, it's a male polka. Now, I'm not exactly sure why the article says that. The, the Rashi says it's one of these guys. So I don't know. I, I have no idea why the article changed it to polka. I always go with the article, unless I just didn't understand Rashi. Rashi says tzavua, which is, uh, <clears throat> that's a big no no. You gotta go this way then. Back. Ne- <laughs> gotta know the rules. Right on the skin. I'm this guy, the son of this woman. And I'm writing to you, you bad spirit. That's what you write. Somebody get him a Gemara, please. For goodness sakes. What is going on here? We have plenty of Gemaras. Ko ko Hashem tzvakos amen amen selo. When Ashlechino lemane, like Berino be kibrei, she take off his clothing. So again, a rabbit dog bit him. He has to go, either get one of these, according to Rashi, or one of these. I think it's easy. By the way, in Eretz Yisrael they have these. They do. They have hyenas, and they definitely have uh, what are they called that they have here in Ramat Shemesh? A lot of them, jackals, make a lot of noise at night. 
ganz geschmack, not as dangerous as this hyena, but they have hyenas. This, I've never seen. Polecat, it's like sort of like a, a weasel. They have weasels, okay. But it has to be a polecat. It has to be male. It has to be very, if it doesn't work, by the way, we once learned, the Reb Shari Ragain says that if you, you try this, somebody gets bit by a rabid dog, and he goes and he tries, he takes the skin of whatever it is, and he writes it, it's not going to work. It only works in the time of the Gemara. Not only that, the Amshah Shleima says, it's awesome to even try it. Why? Because it brings to the bazillion of the Gemara, people say, oh, it doesn't work. Well, you don't know how to do it. You don't know what the exact, it has to be an exact animal, if you don't know what it is. I thought it's a polka. No, it's a hyena. I thought it's a hyena. It's a, it's not a hyena, it's a jackal, whatever it is, don't try it. The Yom Shalom says it's also to try it. And again, that whole marsha, that these are things that might have been in the Sefer Harufuis that was buried and sprinkled throughout Shas, different Rufuis. However, we, let's continue. Take off your clothing and you bury it in the base of Kfaras at Trace Yachi Shata for 12 months. You take out the clothing after 12 months, you burn them. You take the ashes, you sprinkle them, fork in the road. And when he drinks during those first 12 months, you have to use a straw. Uh, maybe you should use a copper one, maybe a plastic one, but it has to be a straw. Why? Why? The shid of the stacking. He has on himself a shed. And if he looks in the water, he might see the shed in the water, and that's very dangerous. He got the shade, this whatever it is, a shade, he got it from the dog. And he might be able to see it, and it's no good. It's the same person. She indeed gave him a golden straw so he shouldn't see his reflection in the water. Rabbi Yochanan Chosh B'Tzafdina. Rabbi Yochanan had this disease that in the Mishnah it says, the Ramasi says you should, you could take the, the medicine on Shabbos. The disease that starts in the mouth, goes to the gums, and goes into the body and kills a person. So, he came to this woman, this guy, Abdali Milto Chamsho Umali Shamsa. She made him uh, some concoction to heal his, his disease for Thursday and Friday. On my law, so Rabbi Yechon tells this unconventional doctor, B'Shabbos Mai, what should I do on Shabbos? Omer Alei Leitzrichas, it's going to work. Now, I believe Rabbi Yechon was playing a game here. He's trying to get that information from her, how to make it. So he said, Imas Ruchino Mai, I can't come to you at Shabbos. I need to know the recipe. Omerlei, she realized she's talking to the Golad Dar. Now this is her whole parnasa. She made a lot of money off of this. But I can rely on Rabbi Yechon and the Golad Dar. If you swear to me that you're not going to tell anybody, I will give you the recipe. Ishtaba, so use this specific lotion. Ishtaba lelakadi Yisrael loy migalina. I am not going to tell Hashem the recipe. That's basically what he said. Because usually you swear in the name of Hashem. That's not what he said. I'm not going to tell Hashem the recipe. And as soon as he got the recipe, he went to the yeshiva and he told everybody. This is a Gemara in Avedi Zara. Now even though I said I don't remember Avedi Zara, because even though I, that's what I said in the Meaningful People, I learned it 30 times and I don't remember it very well. My Chavrusa remembers it much better than I do and he only learned it, I don't know, three times. But I do remember this story. Not only that, I felt good because I remember there was an inconsistency here in the Gemara. I'll show you soon. How could he, how could he swear? He swore falsely. What he said is, I am going, he tricked her. Why? It was very dangerous. It's, it's Pekuach Nefesh. There are people dying from this Tzafidna. And Memela, he had to, he had to tell everybody the recipe. It's very nice, but at the end of the day, she's going to think that he swore falsely. Says the Gemara, the Megala Mikara. I remember there was a problem in Avaid Zara when we learned this. He told her right away. So, Achil Hashem, in terms of that, the fact that she's going to think that he swore falsely in Hashem's name, that we don't have. 
Because as soon as he said, he says, by the way, I tricked you. Because I said, Le the Yisrael, let me go, So she's not going to be chayish him that he's going to swear falsely because he told her on the spot why it's not swearing falsely. The problem is it's a different Chil Hashem that he lied, but that's not, it's not the same, it's not on the same level of the Chil Hashem of swearing falsely. May have delay. What was the concoction? Now, let's just put it in every Gemara in the world. Everybody has a shas, knows the recipe. You take some, you know, some of that starter for the, what's the name of the bread? Sourdough, yeast water, shemen zayis, a little olive oil, umelach, and salt. That's the whole trick. You give the yeast itself. Shemen zayis umelach. mishcha begat for the You take the oil that comes out of the wing of a goose, some of the bone marrow, and that's what, that's, that's what you use. I tried all of these recipes, and it didn't work, and that's why the Avshar Shlomo says, not that's why, but here you see, even Abaye tried it, he followed the, the, the recipe exactly, and it did not work. So, Melo, we shouldn't try it. Isaac Ashiyoso, the Zaysa, take the pits of, uh, of olives, the Leimolo Tilta, that didn't grow, that grew less than a third, Uklido Benura, and you should bake them, Benura, in a fire, Amara, on top of a hoe, just like this. What does this have to do with the uh, Rufua? Don't ask questions, that's part of it. Chadeto, brand new, like this guy. Va'adbeg bekachei dorei, and Glue it to your, to your teeth, to the whole row of teeth that hurt you. By the way, what happened to this woman? So the Yushami says, when we learned the uh, Vazar, either she committed suicide, because that was her whole parnasa, or she became a Giyaris. She said, that's harder to, to understand. She says, wow, he was so into telling everybody and trying to save his fellow friends, his Talmidim, that I want to become like that. Okay. Says the Gemara. Memai Havi. What does it come from? Mechami mechami me. The chite. When you eat very hot bread. Just thinking. Last week I was so excited. I did the tiniest, the the tiniest of the rived. I saw that hot bread and I didn't eat it. But maybe it saved me because look, you could get sapidna if you eat very hot bread. But here I was excited. Why? Because I remember that something was off, that in Aved Zara was different. And I looked it up, in fact, in Aved Zara, and nobody, I didn't see anybody that discusses it. Over there it says that it comes from cold bread and hot barley bread. Okay, fine. So you see, my memory is not a thousand percent off. Look, that it does say over there. If you like, the, the leftover fish, they used to have this kind of food, they used to cook up the fish with, with uh, flour, and if it was left overnight, that could cause tzafidna. Umai simone. Kadrami mida bekachi. If you put something in your teeth, vasa dama mebeidare, and all the teeth start bleeding, you know you have tzafidna. Biyachinon kichash bi tzafidna, over hachi bi shapso, bi tase. Biyachinon, when he had it, he did this trick on Shabbos and he was, became. And he, and he was healed. Now Rashi is not Goyres, the next part, because if, according to the Gemara of the Zara, it doesn't really fit in over here. It's actually Gemara, this is part of the Gemara over there, but it doesn't really fit into our Sugi. How did he do it? You can't do it over there. And the Gemara says, he was, because he was Tamut Chachim, he was able to. Okay, fine. Rashi takes out all these things. This goes according to the in our Mishnah. If a person feels that he has tzapidna, what does he do? He's allowed to take medicine on Shabbos. But the problem is, the Gemara is trying to ask a question here. Who does Rabbi Yochanan go according to? Rabbi Masya. Now if you look in the Mishnah, Rabbi Masya is Das Yochit. It says, if a dog, if a rabid dog bites you, don't give him part of the liver. Rabbi Masya says it's mutter. 
And another Allah, he says, Hachayshish Bigroinoi, this is what we're talking about. Person has some pain in his throat, what should he do? So you give him medicine on Shabbos. It seems like Chachamim, Tanakama argues on him. So the question is, how would Rabbi Yochanan go with Rabbi Masio, who's the Das Yachad and not like the Tanakama? Says the Gemara, Omalei, Shani Oimer, Bazu, Veloi Bacheres. Chachamim only argued on the first part of Rabbi Masio. If a rabid dog bites you, Chachamim say, don't give him the liver. That's alternative medicine. It doesn't work. So you're not mechal, you don't let somebody eat tray for alternative medicines that don't really work. Ramazi says it's not alternative medicine. I know, I know for a fact it works. I know people that ate it, it works. Okay? It's like those pigeon things. Just thinking out loud. When we lived in B'nai Brak, it was a big thing. It works. He said it works. And you, my mother said it works. And so many people say it's shtusim avalim. It's a controversial thing. My mother said it works. You're a doctor. And Tomer Levy says he saw it die. Then my mother said she saw it die, but she also, she, she fetched the, the, the pigeon's head in half, she said. I'm not kidding. She said, Mama, she works. But you have to do it like this, like this. It could be I snapped its neck. I'm not sure. But anyway, if it works, doctor fact, if it works. My father-in-law is also a surgeon. He's a doctor. He said, if it works, so why doesn't the medical... Society believe in it. Why don't it works? Take it and, and try it on three patients if it works. The kids, it's one of those things. I don't know. I, I have no idea. I'm not I'm not saying nishtahin and nishtah. You say it works, all these people say it works, I get it. But are you Michal Shabbos for it? Dr. Factor, you'd be Michal Shabbos on a pigeon for a person that has uh jaundice and is dying. Would you be Michal Shabbos? Get in a car and trap them on Shabbos. That's the Shaila. Huh? He's not answering. He's not answering. What? What a, what a weak terror. But let's say people do. Let's say people do die from jaundice and that kind of thing. Why? People were mamish like tittering between death and life. Hmm? I'm telling you, it was, it was a situation in, here in the Israeli hospitals. People were very sick. The Haredi would sneak in these pigeons into the hospital. They can't bring pigeons to the hospital. They sneak them in and do it like, is she looking? Is she coming? They come like they had the whole, like the underground pigeon crew. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, we went through this. Now you just we went through this so with you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We'll do a demonstration with a pigeon on a person. We'll see if it works. Let's bring a person right here. I understood what he said. Thank you very much. Aha, uh-huh, it's only hepatitis A. Okay, fine. I didn't want to get into it. I'm just bringing up a, a dogma that we understand in our day. So, In other words, the Gemara is saying, listen to this. <laughs> it. You do it, bring it. What does it have to do with Yuma? Fine. The bottom line is, Chachamim agree that if a person has tzafidna, that's what the Gemara is trying to say here. If a person has tzafidna, he has this disease in his mouth. He didn't brush his teeth for five years. The Gemara calls it tzafidna. His gums are bleeding out and it's about to kill him. So he's allowed to take medicine, right? Even Chachamim agree to the Ramasya, maybe. That's what the Gemara is trying to say. That Ramasya just argued on one thing. You get bit by a rabid dog, do you give him a, 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 a liver of the dog? That Chacham say, no way. That's unconventional. But Tzafid, no. Everybody agrees. They give him medicine, whatever the medicine is. And I'll prove it to you, says the Gemara. Let him say, yeah, lay. Misha Chazi Yerokot. Here, jaundice. You have jaundice. Machilin Oisoy Bisa Chamar. It's worse than a pigeon. It's donkey meat. Mamish Treif. You're allowed to give it to him. Misha Nishachai Kelev Shaita. And here's, so Allah number one, jaundice, you give him donkey meat. Halacha number two, Mishin Neshachah Kelev Shaita, rabbit dog, or whatever the, you want to call it. Machin Neshachah Mechatzar Kovet Shaloi. By the way, our in-house, Shoychet, Rabbi Avram Weisfish from Manchester, who we saw a picture yesterday with, the, he did the whole party, Shkoyach to Rabbi Avram for hosting the party. And said, this is Chatzar Kovet, he says. Not exactly, the, the yard around the Kovet, maybe it's talking about this, I don't know. The low, what is it called? Lobe of the liver. You figure it out yourself. I'm not going to tell you where it is. Here it is. The lobe of the coven. It's in here, in this picture. 
Tomorrow he's going to do the whole thing. Next time you should have put his pen on there. Vachoshesh bepiv. And if you have this tzefidno, matilun loisam b'shavas, you give him medicine. Dirir matzim in chorosh. So he said three halachas. Vachachom ayim be'elu ein bohem mishum refua be'elu. In these. Now, what should have it said? It should have said, Ein bohem mishum refua. The word elu is telling us that they are talking about, in the list of three, be'elu, only in these two, ein bohem refua. Otherwise, because if it included all three, if Chacham argued on all three, they shouldn't have put the word be'elu. It should have just said, ein bohem mishum refua, in the story. Be'elu l'mutei mai. Mai la'av l'mutei sam. Maybe they agree to Tzafidna, like the Gemara was trying to say, that there's no machlaikas in Tzafidna. Everybody agrees, like Rabbi Yechon, That's why Rabbi Yechon took this concoction on Shabbos, because even Chachamim admit to it. Like, there's another, there's a fourth thing. That what? There's an inflammation of the throat, according to the art scroll, called Quincy. And that's what you, you do, you let blood for it, and that works. So that's what Chacham say. hey, there's something else. There's a list of three things. But there's a fourth thing called Quincy that that we agree. Okay, we'll, we'll, we're not arguing on everything. One out of four we agree with. He heard three things. Here. That's number one. And if you were bit by a rabbit dog, you give him some of the dog's liver. And if you have a toothache, you give him medicine on Shabbos. We argue. In two of these, not. Perhaps it's these two over here, Meshichas Kelev and Choshesh Bepiv. That's what we argue. But we agree to you that in you could let blood out. We argue on these two, Sreinchi and Meshichas Kelev. But we admit on the last one, Choshesh Bepiv. That's the story that happened to Rabbi Yochanan. He had toothache. And he took that lady that committed suicide's medicine on Shabbos. Why? Because in that everybody agrees. Even Chachamim admit to Ramasio that it's okay to take medicine for Choshesh Bip. Okay. Now we're turning to the Pedal Roman Bay's sponsored by the MD White Hill Group. For all those who need Shiduchim, Rufua, and Yeshua's, please join tehillim.8mindaf.com or join mdy.com. No, I just made that up. That's something else. Toshma, the Tani Rabbi Bar Shmuel. Ubar Shayricha, a woman who had a craving. We give her to eat until she feels good. I guess I'm telling you, I guess this is a real thing, this craving thing. Even non-Jews believe in it. That time that I got pulled over and I told the cop that I was asking me why I was speeding and I had a burger from Burger from, what's the name of that? Ken's Diner, thank you. How do you know? You're not even from Chicago. I, mean, I should know that. From Ken's Diner. Mom is smoking smoking. He said, my wife had a craving and she sent me. I'm sorry. I, yeah, I was speeding. And he said, go. Go gesundheit. <laughs> she never had a burger from Ken's Diner. But shh. Everybody knows, new women, they, they, they ice cream and pickles, all that stuff, because it's dangerous for the baby. And if, some, if a dog bites, a rabid dog bites somebody, you give him part of that liver. And if you have tzafid, again, the same thing like we said before. No. One time you could do it. There's one of these things that you're allowed to do, but that's it. Bezu ahayo. What is he talking about? What are Chacham saying? Ilema ubra. If they agree that if a woman has a craving, you're allowed to give her the craving. You're allowed to whatever it is. Pshita. Ubara mi'ikel lemando amad deloi. In the Mishnah, if you look in the Mishnah, when it talks about a, a woman who has a craving, you give her, feed her whatever. Treif chazer. Nobody argues on it. Wow, look at that, Rabbi Isai. Just turn around. It's Rabbi Vrom Weisfish and Yisrael Goldstein with his chosh of a hat. Sorry for no, it's a 
Gantz Oilam. Oh, Yossi, Shum Aleichem. Yishkoyach, I didn't thank you last night. Yishkoyach Yossi, Yishkoyach Rav Weisfish, Yishkoyach Yisrael Goldstein, and Shlomi's in the back. I see Shlomi. I mean Shmuel, Shmuel, Shmuel with the watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, the Gantz Mishpuch is there in the car. I don't know, where are they going? They're going to the Shlach Toys? Ah, you're going back to America. I got it, I got it. <laughs> he said, he went like this. Very nice. All right, so the, you had a good time. We'll see you Beis Hashem soon, Rabbi Stroh. All right. Zok to Gemara. By the way, you don't have to take, you don't have to wear that hat wherever you go, Yisrael. It's one thing by the by that house that looks like it's 400 years old. It's Hashem to house, and you are a vecker for say there. But Gantzah Tug. Okay, fine. I guess that's how they know. Look, Yisrael, you don't even have to wear your MDY paraphernalia. Just walk with that hat, and people will come over to you in the street. Ah, you're from MDY. Okay. Even how everybody agrees that you give a woman a craving, why? Because nobody argues in the mission on that. Elalav, what are you going to do, Yosef? You're going to take that piece out and put it back into the thing? You're going to have to do something. The people watching YouTube are not going to know what's flying. And by the way, seriously, I, I saw that the shear went out at a quarter to two in the morning. That means Yosef was up till a quarter to two in the morning putting it together. So tremendous yishkoyach until on last night, on every day. It takes a lot of time to put it out. And he's here early in the morning learning Torah again. Says the Gemara, el Sam. So no, we're talking about, we're talking about if somebody has pain in their mouth and that's what Chacham say, we agree to you. Now why can't it be the dog? Because the dog feeding a person who gets bit by a dog it's liver, that's a bachloik in the Mishnah. So it can't be a dog, and it can't be a woman who has a craving because that everybody agrees to. We're left with one thing. We're left with giving medicine to somebody who has the mouth pain, and that everybody agrees to. That's what they said. We agree to you, bazoo. Bazoo on the mouth pain. Shema mino, and that's why Rabbi Yechon took it on Shabbos. Rashi, Omar, Mas, Nisi, Nami, Daika, I can prove in the Mishnah, Vaid, Omar, Rabbi Masi, Ben Chorosh. Vaid. Rabbi Masi, Ben Chorosh says one more thing. Not only do you feed somebody the liver of a dog. You don't see in the Mishnah that Rabban argue on it. Because if Chachamim argue, so then Chachamim should have just said on one, they should have argued once after Ramazi was finished talking. Ramazi says, feed a person who got bit by a dog liver, give medicine to somebody who has pain in his mouth, and the Chachamim say no. But the Chachamim interject in the middle, meaning that they agree to the second halacha. Mipnei shesavik nefashisu. Says the Gemara, let's go back to the Mishnah for a second. Daf, pei, gimelon, aleph. It says that you give somebody medicine if they have pain in their mouth. Mipnei, what's over there? Oh, that's, that's the Lakewood Chavar Abois. I turn around. Lakewood Chavar, Shalom Aleichem, Lakewood. Moshe Hirsch is there. Moshe Hirsch, that's the guy on the left. Menachem Harvitz, okay, give out What? I know, Moshe, I said already. Oh, could you get rid of that Shrimal guy in the back? Please, please. No, you're fine. That's already. They, they asked me on meaningful people. I said, I, learned, I, did, I did have a Vizara 30 times. I said, what, your mama showed you the Vizara 30 times? But now I see people because of me are over the Vizara. That's a no no. Get rid of that. Ironers, Ironers. I keep on saying Moshe. Ironers. All right, but anyways, it says like this. Why do you give medicine to somebody who has mouth pain? Mipnei shu suffix nefashis. That should be enough. Suffix nefashis. There's a suffix if somebody's going to die. You give. And then the Mishnah continues. V'chol suffix nefasha is doich as a Shabbos. That seems to be redundant. I'll tell you why. It's something you've never even dreamed of. Because of this question, we have to say pshat. We're not talking about today. Today, Shabbos, 100%, you become Shabbos. We know if there's a suffix, suffix, bikuach nefesh, is doich Shabbos. So, why does the Mishnah say, it's talking about for two Shabbos, the second Shabbos? That's the Chiddush. What does it mean? 
The doctor said, you need to be on medication for eight days. And today is Shabbos. V'yomikama Shabso. Mao the same Eliyakim ad l'urto, kechdu l'neichol alei, trei Shabso. Perhaps just push it off until Motzei Shabbos. Start the treatment Motzei Shabbos. You're gonna have you're gonna have a chil Shabbos there anyways. Maybe I could be mechal one Shabbos. Maybe not two Shabbosim. Kamash malon, you could be mechal two Shabbosim. Not a problem. Tanya me'achim mechamin, chamin lechoyel be Shabbos. Bein lashkoy se bein lavroisoy. You could heat up water on Shabbos for somebody who's sick, in order to make him a tea, or to bathe him in it to make him healthier. V'loy Shabbos u'bevad omru l'Shabbos acheres. Second Shabbos as well. And we don't say, let's wait. Right now we have a Shabbos. You, you push off Shabbos right now. And not only this Shabbos, but even for second Shabbos. Listen to this halach. This is a very important halach. Gdoyle Yisrael means adults. This is for Levi Friedman and all the guys, Mark Ashkenazi and everybody else. When it comes to Chil Shabbos, don't be a big tzaddik and don't look for the Arab, don't look for the guy. You do it yourself. You don't tell a kusi, you do it by yourself. Don't look for women. Don't look for a kusi. Now, this line... Let's hold on to this line for a second. It's a very hard line to read. just want to read you this, Mishnah Bura over here. Actually, it's a Shulchan Aruch. Shin Chav Ches. Shkoyach. Siv Beis. Mish Yesh Lo Yichoy Li Shel Sakana. If there's a danger. Mitzvah L'Chal Ol Vesha Shabbos. Not Mutter. It's a mitzvah to do Chil Shabbos. V'Hazariz. Harez Meshubach. The quicker you do it, the better. And listen to this one. V'Hashoyel. If you go to a rabbi to ask a Shailah, you're going to the rabbi. You don't ask questions. Says the Mishnah Baruch. Pirish, Oisa Yishu Mishasid. He's trying to be a big chasid. The Yore Lechal Shabbos Bechol Kazeh. Harei Yishayvich Damim. Then he goes on to say that if the sick person, he's by himself scared to be Mechal Shabbos, Kaifin Oisa, you force him. Umedabr Maliboy. It's a nice way of forcing somebody. You speak nicely to him after you force him. And you tell him, Chasidus shel shtus. It's a chasidus that's based on stupidity. There's no inyan to be machmir when it comes to Chil Shabbos for Sakonis Nefashas. You go right away without asking any questions. Now, based on this Gemara, that it says, you don't go to a guy. You do, you make a Jew, an adult Jew do it. You don't even go to a cotton. Why? Because people will think, people will make a mistake. They'll say, look, he did it like a cotton. So you're not supposed to go have an adult do it. And next time something will happen, they'll start looking for the cotton, they'll start looking for the woman, they'll start looking for this, they'll start being makele. So let me ask you a question. Why is it that in Ramat Shemesh we have an ambulance with a guy driving it? Shouldn't it be specifically a Jewish adult male? Levi, what's the answer? I have no idea. Levi has no idea. So, I was bothered by this question, and I see that Ramosha Feinstein discusses it. And Ramosha Feinstein says that since driving to the hospital is not part of the Hatzala, it's, it's to, 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 to heal a person, to give him the bandage, that's the, but getting there is not. So that's why you can have a guy. But then he says, I found out that the guy don't drive as wildly as the Jews. They don't care that much. They don't go through the red lights. The more Makfid. Get rid of the guy, he says. Don't have the guy do it. And that's, okay, fine. What, Bensi, what are you saying? It's a long, no, I want to hear it, kids, sir. Afterwards, okay. Oh, well, what? So, one minute, let's, let's read this line here. This is a very hard line to understand. It says that women... According to Rashi, we always learn it according to Rashi. Now, people are going to have a problem with this line here. It says in the Gemara that women, we don't trust them when it comes to the Chil Shabbos. If they say you have to be Chil Shabbos, you don't trust them. Ava mitztar from the Asacharis, according to Rashi, means that if you have two adults, two males, and one female, and you have three people that say do not be Chil Shabbos, then you can be Mitzar if a woman, the three, and it's three against three which is very, very problematic because Rashi yesterday said that once you have two people, you don't care about three. Two, 
two overcomes a hundred. So if you are a woman and you don't like this, uh, this line over here, so you should know that the rush sticks in the word loy. Right over here it says, Okay, so over here they stuck it in my Gemara. They're not going to like, like, like Rashi. But Bekitzer, the Rosh says the opposite, that a woman is believed. And according to the Rif, it's not talking about whether or not she's believed. We trust in Michal Shabbos. It's whether or not she should, do we call a Hatzal lady to deal with somebody? And just like we don't call a guy and we don't call a child, don't call a woman because somebody that sees it will say, oh, it's, we don't want to use a real, uh, we don't want to use a gadol here to be Shabbos. Let a woman do it. We want to show, no. An adult does it, a gadol does it, and that's it. Okay. We do anything we could do in order to be Michal Shabbos. And the quicker you do it, the better it is. And you don't go ask for a bonnet. Okay, Tzad, this is incredible. You see a kid struggling in the ocean. Maybe you should go to the Rav. No. You right away, you throw out your net and you catch him. What's the problem with the net? Because you're going to catch fish. Listen, the Gemara has to say there's some shaitim out there that don't know these halachas. All of a sudden they become big chasidim. Oh, no, I have to be back on Shabbos. Uh, the kid will learn how to swim or will come back soon. Even though he's going to trap fish and he's going to eat them later, that's okay. Some Rishonim want to say that he has kavana as he's doing it. It's kishmak. I'm going to save this kid. Plus, I'm going to get like $200 worth of fish. That's also okay. Some say it's not okay if he had kavana. You see a, a kid that fell into a pit. What's my story? Oh, me? I fell into a pit. Yeah, that was, I said it last night. I said it 500 times before. Different. So, and it was on Chavez. You're right. I fell very good. I fell into a sewer system on Chavez. Where's Ruvain? Here he is. Okay, good. Because it's coming up now. I, I had such a know when I saw you. It says like this. Uh, let us start breaking things from the pit in order to get in there. Of course, the quicker you go, the better. You don't have to take your shoes from bed. I have to tell you the story real quickly before I get to Ruben's story. Rabbi Milunowitz said, and Mark Ashkenazi is not going to like this so much. He said that he saw once in Muncie on Shabbos the ambulance broke down. All the Hatzala guys went. And they started fixing the ambulance on Shabbos. They were fixing their under the hood. They were fixing it. Nefesh. And they weren't able to fix it. He says the next day, Sunday, not a single person touched the ambulance. It was not Negea. It's not, it's not Pikuach Nefesh on Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. Sunday is football day. On Shabbos, everybody worked to fix the ambulance. That's what he said. I know Mark's not going to like it. It was before Mark's days, but okay. Fine. That's Rabbi Milinowitz. You know Rabbi Milinowitz. We, we, he's Mamash Goladar. He was the editor of all of our school, Shas, uh, Babli, Yushalmi, and unfortunately he was Nifta very, at a very young age, like two years ago. Yeah, the front of our school always has his name. He's an unbelievable person. Okay. Says Gemara. Even though it's making it better for himself, now he has a, ni- a nice little step going into his pit. Now listen to this. Rosh Nina Aladels Bifnei Tinoik. So this happened to me. One day, I was home, and my neighbor, Ruben Chait, who's the editor, was the editor for the 8 Minute Daf, he gave it up to Yosef, Bezer Hashem. His wife came knocking on the door, hysterical. Her kids are all locked in the mamad. Now, you know, mamad, in Eretz there's, there's a room that's like a miklat, and has a very heavy door. All the kids were locked in there. And they're screaming, hysterically. So what do you do? So I came in there. I went, Dip! opened up the door, like, what? She's like, Ugh. okay, anyways. <laughs> but there is such a thing. Kids are locked in the door. <laughs> no, Rosh and Nina does with Natinai. What do you do? Shaivra Munti. You break the door on Shabbos. The quicker you do, the better. You don't go ask Besnan. Even though you want to break the door so you have little pieces of wood for your firewood, it's mutter. You're allowed to put out the fire and you're allowed to put stuff, water in front of the fire. 
If there's anybody watching this year and was with me in the Mir Yeshiva in the early 80s when there's a fire on Shabbos and everybody ran over everybody and they were running each other over, let me know because uh, nobody ever corroborated that story. Fine. Utsricha, Mir Yeshiva and Flatbush. Utsricha, the Ashmin and Yam, Shum Dada, Ochevachi, Ozalei. Oh, there's a big chiddush about the ocean because until you go to ask a rabbi, the, the kid's going to disappear. Avil bar the koyosiv. He's sitting nicely in the bottom of the pit. Maybe you should go ask Garov. Emelai tzricha. Yes, meaning bar. But if we say the, the bar Hashem, they didn't go ask a rabbi when I was drowning over there. Mishum de komit mivis. He's very scared. He's in a dark, lonely pit. Avil in adeles. What's the big deal if they're locked in there? Eshe the yosef by gisa. He could sit on the other side. I'm shabbos libam guzil. Start talking to him about different knots and games. And oh, I'm going to give you a candy. Da da da. Calm down. Tzricha. Even though it goes to another chotzer, you're allowed to put it out. Should we stop over here? We're going to fall into a little bit of a hole. Okay. And Malasot. We'll make it up on Thursday, Bezer Hashem. Have a wonderful day.